How's it going guys? I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com and yeah, it's Casual Friday so I've got a t-shirt on but something else has been on my mind lately. You know, we're starting to see the rumors heat up with the Apple iPhone 5. It's kind of that time of the year so we're seeing all these rumors from analysts and people in the know and you're seeing exclusives and headlines and things like that all throughout the internet so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to kind of sit down on video or stand up I guess since that's technically what I'm doing. Stand up on video and tell you what I would like to see in the iPhone 5. So here we go. First, I would love to see the iPhone 5 come to T-Mobile. I think it should be on all four carriers. It's obviously evident that T-Mobile's not going anywhere anytime soon. The AT&T T-Mobile merger failed. And so we've got four carriers, but the iPhone's only available on three of those. And I don't think it's fair to T-Mobile, as you know, estimated around 30 million carrier, 30 million subscribers to not have access to Apple's iPhone 5. They should get the iPhone 5, they should get the iPhone 4S uh, when the iPhone 5 is announced, kind of like they did with Sprint where they got the iPhone 4 after the 4S was announced. They need at least some iPhones in their product portfolio. And like I said, you know, it's not fair to those T-Mobile customers that are looking to jump ship because they can't get the phone that they want. So iPhone 5 should come to T-Mobile and of course should stay on Verizon Wireless, AT&T, and Sprint as well. Number two, it needs to have a better battery. This device is, obvious, or is most likely going to have a larger display, which gets into my other thing, but we'll get to that in just a second. It's obviously going to have a larger display, so are most likely going to have a larger display. So it needs a bigger battery. We need to be able to get this device to make it all the way through the day without a doubt. You know, iPhone 4S is pretty decent in the battery life department. It's a little bit worse, in my opinion, than the iPhone 4, but based on my testing, I'm able to make it through a day. That's not the case with a lot of people. They're having issues making it through the day, and they're hoping that all these little incremental software updates are going to solve the problem. Well, we should get one that's perfect out of the box with a nice big battery, let's say between 1,800 and 2,000 milliamp hours, it should be packed in to the iPhone 5. Number three, which is what I just covered, a bigger display. 3.5 inches is a nice sweet spot for a lot of people, but it's a little bit on the small side. And if you watch my videos, you know, as well as I do, that I talk about four inch displays as being kind of the sweet spot. We should see between a four and a 4.3 inch display no, preferably a four, on the Apple iPhone 5. That'd be an ideal size for a lot of people. It's not too big, it's not 5.3 inches or 4.7 inches, it's not too small, it's not in that 3.2 to 3.5 inch category. It's a perfect size for a lot of people. I'd love to see that. Number four, we need a new design already. I mean, come on, the Apple iPhone 4 and the 4S look exactly the same, save for some antenna changes, some SIM card slot uh, introductions on the CDMA versions for global roaming capabilities. We need a new design. We need this thing to be thin, but not too thin, because if you looked at some of the recent designs that we've seen on some of the sites across the internet, too thin can be a problem. It can be hard to hold. It can be too hard around the edges, or too rough, rather, around the edges. We need a nice looking device that's easy to hold in the hand. And number five, big, big number five. What do you think it is? What do you think it is? We need iOS 6. We need a new version of Apple's iOS, and of course that's probably going to come, but we need some better multitasking abilities. We need the notifications bar area to kind of either be reworked or to go away, because at this point, it's not really beneficial in a lot of ways. Now I want to hear from you. I want to know what you think the Apple iPhone 5 should have. Or do you agree with my stuff? Do you disagree? Do you agree with some of it, but think that, hey, Aaron, you missed some features that I think are really important? Let me know. And I'm going to tack on one more as a little surprise. Number six, it's got to have 4G LTE connectivity. We need a device with LTE connectivity to compete with the Android devices, the Windows Phone devices, and more that are coming out on all these carriers. At this point, with LTE being as solidified as it is, the next version, if it doesn't have LTE, it's going to be pretty unacceptable. Those are my six things that I think the iPhone 5 should have. Let me know in the comments section below on YouTube or on the site at PhoneDog.com in the comments section or on Twitter at PhoneDog underscore Aaron or on Facebook, Facebook.com slash PhoneDog. Let me know what features you'd like to see. The iPhone 5 is coming. I'd like to hear what you think it should have.